Yeah, welcome to this class. And uh, today we want to look at uh, how to register for your KRA PIN. Now, the first thing you do <clears throat> is to go to the iTax portal. <clears throat> you have to open your Google or uh, a Google Chrome or uh, Mozilla, depending on which one you're using. And then uh, you go to Google and uh, you tap, you type ITAX. Once you tend to carry ITAX, and uh, you have to be patient. And uh, yeah, um, it is still loading. So that is it. Now you are uh, you are on KRA portal. So what you do, you get to you say that you want to get a new pin, and you click on that. You'll be directed to this page, and then you say that uh, you are an individual. Remember, for an individual, this is for companies. So you say you are an individual, and then uh, you also say that you want to use an online form. You click uh, the next button. So, yep, you'll be on this page. Information, you say no. Citizenship, click that you're a care for turnover tax. You see, most cases, those who are applying for their care pin are normally students. So, what you do, uh, of course, anyone who is employed has a care pin. So, what you do, you go and click that this is for a student. And then uh, you say this is a certificate student and he or she is on year one. Once you're done with that part, you'll be directed to this part where you're supposed to insert the ID number. Let me use this ID number. This ID number. And then uh, upon uh, writing your ID number, the next thing you do is to write the date of birth. Write the date of birth. So uh, the other details, you don't write anything. You come down here and check, click any other anywhere outside this. So once you click, all the details that uh, were registered with that ID number will appear here. So you come down here and say that you now fill other details down here the land rates number most of in most cases you don't most of people don't have the land rates number so you come and fill the building you we'll say maybe this person live on vescon plaza and then street you live in bamburi and then uh, city is in mombasa and then uh, County is Mombasa. We we'll look for Mombasa. There's a drop down. County Mombasa, and then you say district. Maybe this person live live in Yali. Tax locality. Uh, once you click Nyali, I don't know why it's not bring the tax locality. Okay, for the sake of that uh, ID number that uh, I gave up there, uh, that ID number, because uh, it is just for learning, it's for learning, so this ID number cannot work with Mombasa. So I will use where it can work, where, yes, because you must match the details with what is on the ID number. So once you match these details, then the details will appear here. So the, the, this, this part here, you fill these details based on the information in your ID. Now on the principal postal address, you select random, no, not random, you select where you live. Eh? 
from that drop down button and then uh, uh, you write your PO box. Then you'll come here and uh, insert your mobile number. Insert your mobile number. You will be, you will be, these are the two important parts on this, uh, two important areas. That is uh, your ID number and your email address. If you give your email address, like julia at gmail.com, you click outside here. They are telling that this ID is already registered with another taxpayer. So in order to continue, you must probably verify email address. Okay. So, okay, the ID, that part, uh, because I'm not submitting this, what I wanted you to see is that immediately you, you write your ID number, no, you write your email address. You will be given this option. You send the OTP. Now this, when you click here up, upon, uh, upon uh, giving your email address, when you click here, a certain code will be sent to your email. You will pick that code, come and copy it here. Once you click send, send O2P, a code will be sent to your email address. Then uh, this part here, would you like to subscribe for, or uh, subscribe alerts, you say unsubscribe. Do you have an alternative? You click no. Do you wish to declare a bank account? You click no. Are you a partner director transcending the entity? You click no. Would you like to declare your relationship with another taxpayer? You say no. It's not necessary to upload any document here. So what you do, you click next. Now here you'll be asked, uh, here you are registering for income tax resident, and then you write the date. Yeah? You write the date the date you are registered. Then after that, you will come to this part here. You ask about your source of employment. Uh, you, of course, most cases here, you don't have any employment. You are just looking for the PIN, meaning that your employer must have requested you to give him or her a PIN before getting a job. Otherwise, uh, that part you click no in all section business income you say no rental income you say no and uh, you go to the last part here on this part uh, you don't include anything here tax agent authorized to submit any application on behalf of the taxpayer that is in intermediate agent submit returns on behalf of the taxpayer so that part is not necessary so what you do you come and do some mathematics here like in this case, 102 plus 15, this is 117. Yeah, if you have, uh, you have uh, inserted details correctly, what you're going to do last is to submit. You click the submit button. And so once you click the submit button, uh, your pin will be sent to your registered email address. And still, you can download it from the portal. Immediately, you click a uh, submit button. The pin will be shared shortly on the portal. And you can download it from there as well. But uh, the important or the best way is you go to your email address after you have clicked the submit button. And uh, the pin will be sent to your email address. Otherwise, uh, I want to stop there. And tomorrow we are going to see how to file your returns. Thank you.